Hey guys, it's Ross, and I want to show you guys my most reliable annual here in Pennsylvania. In this location, Zone 7A, the greater Philadelphia area, it is Swiss chard. And I want to show you guys my apple trees first because when I think about reliability, things that will fruit for me every year with minimal work, I think about my perennials, right? Take my apple trees for an example. I never have to water them. I plant them in their location. They fruit for me every year. You know, um, I just build up the soil around them every year, keep adding more mulch, and they reward me year after year. No work. You plant it once and you're done. So, for me, I'm not really a big fan of annuals for that reason because annuals need a lot more work, they need a lot more attention, more water, even more food. Um, Swiss chard though, you can see my Swiss chard down here guys, is completely problem free and work free. I direct seed these, I do not start them early, I direct seed them in the middle of March. And today is December 27th, two days after Christmas, and they are still going strong. They are still putting out new leaves. The leaves are tasty, tender, they taste like shrimp if you ask me. <laughs> Um, it's a no-brainer crop here. Nothing bothers them. No insect pressure. Um, nothing. I'm, I'm just blown away by these Swiss chard plants. Um, for the amount of time that they, they perform here, they perform longer than any other thing that I have. They have been there, like I said, from March 15th. How many days is that, guys? March 15th all the way to December 27th is a is a bit ridiculous so uh, and for nothing to bother it it doesn't bolt you know to have a leafy green that can do that uh, it's hard to find it's also extremely hardy um, it did get hit with the frost I want to show you guys you know it has nothing to do with this microclimate here you know this is not even the warmest spot in my yard but you can see here it definitely got hit with the frost um, that we had a pretty bad low, 13 degree low, on Thanksgiving here, which really shocked these plants, put them back, and um, they rebounded nicely, and now they're putting out all this growth. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this little thing here, because I'm just astounded. Um, I could probably go on more about Swiss chard, but I think you guys get the point, you know. It's almost like a perennial to me. So, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, grow some Swiss chart. Take care.